Okay. All right, good evening and greetings from South Georgia, USA. Greetings to the entire world. We're still without power here in uh, South Georgia. A lot of people have their power restored, but we're still waiting. We're actually some benefits of this because we're having able to spend more time without television and without uh, the distractions of the modern world and uh, are spending more time with God, reading the Word and thinking about what it means to be a believer in Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach the Savior of the world. I'm going to read you from John. I'll start in John 14. It's quite a riddle, what Jesus is saying. And it's up to us to ponder on this and try to figure out what he means The question that you will be asking yourself is that, is Jesus saying that he is the Father? What is exactly Jesus saying here? He said it this way because he wanted us to think about it and really think about it. All right, John 14 the way, the truth, and the life. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And where I go, you know, and the way you know. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going, and how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. And from now on you know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and it is sufficient for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long, and yet you have not known me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father. So how can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does the works. Believe me, that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the sake of the works themselves. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also, and greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. 
If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. I'm going to stop right there because that's enough to ponder on. People have been pondering on this for centuries to try to figure out what Jesus was meaning. It is a, a riddle. It is hard. He seems to be saying one thing and then another thing. In my opinion, he's doing that because he wants us to really think about it. He wants us to ask him. Listen to this. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Well, I'm going to ask something right now. Jesus, would you explain to me what this means? That you're saying you are the Father? And yet... You don't speak on your own authority? This is a mystery. I think that I know the answer to it. But I'm going to ask, in the name of Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, tell me what you mean by these words that were recorded in the Bible in John 14. I believe that what you're saying is true. There's no doubt that I believe that you're telling the truth. But I don't know for certain what it means. I do think I have an idea what it means. And Jesus continues to say, if you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever. The Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he dwells with you and will be with you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. All right, I'm going to leave it right there. That is enough. I don't know how many essays and books and sermons could be written and preached on this one little section of John. Now I'm going to tell you what I think it means right now. I'm not positive that I know what it means, but I am asking in the name of Jesus and for the Holy Spirit to give me a lesson in this John 14. All right. I'll try to upload this. I've been having some trouble with that. But I seem to get it done. Sometimes it's a day late. So I enjoyed reading the Bible to you out there. And I trust and I pray that these sessions will help some people to come to Jesus and to ponder on the meaning of Jesus and to ultimately be saved and receive a born-again status or be created again as a new creature in Christ and ultimately receive eternal life. All right, this is Gardner Israel signing off.